Hello students, now we are going to talk about the institutional review board, right? So there is a board which will be keep on looking into the clinical protocols, clinical trial protocols, clinical study designs. They are going to uh, uh, critically, critically review that process and uh, they will give the decision, right? So let us uh, try to understand what the board roles and responsibilities, right? So the topic is the institutional review board, right? So uh, it is also known as the independent ethics committee. So uh, both the thing it is mentioned in your syllabus, institutional review board and independent ethic committee, right? So both are same. Uh, it is also known as ethical review board, right? So what is the ethical means we know that it is not ethics like that we are saying no. So whatever the things are ethical or not during the clinical trial study, protocol design and the in clinical trial study, uh, they are going to review and give the decision, right? So uh, is a committee, this the, uh, the institutional review board and independent ethics committee is a committee that applies research ethics uh, by reviewing the methods proposed for research to ensure that they are ethical or not right so coming to the uh, composition or the constitution how this particular board or particular committee it is comprises of right so at least five members supposed to be there in that committee the at least uh, what is the condition with these five members is at least one member primary concern with the scientific area he should belong from the scientific area he might be phd holder he might be uh, uh what do you call uh, in the uh, very good uh, uh, degree or training holder into that particular field uh, scientific background at least one member another one member primary concern with non-scientific area that is also important it is not that the uh, review board if it is there so all the people they will be having full uh, uh, hi-fi degree holders and uh, full of scientists no non-scientific area person also supposed to be there you remember right this is also important at least another one member who is not the condition they have given affiliated with the institution right institution means this board they should be uh, whenever it will be comprises or it will be assigned to review some protocol clinical trial protocol uh, uh, they, uh, one person should not be affiliated from uh, affiliated with the institution and uh, immediate family member of any one of these particular uh, four member right they should not be family member their cousins uh, brother sister something like that no right and at the same time it should come uh, it should have uh, some gender variation or means uh, male also should be there female also should be there in these five members all should not be male and all should not be female that is also the condition right coming to the role and responsibility what they do actually this board uh, institutional review board uh, what they do ensure the rights safety and well-being of potential study whatever the study design has been done clinical trial has been done in that what are the right maybe what may be the safety how the study should go on in a proper way that they are going to look after review of research design and materials whatever the design has been done in phase one how many number what is the kind of people male female uh, reason from where it should be what is the age group all those things uh, they are going to material what are the things we are going to use what is the formulations binder rather and excipient which method has been used uh, those things review updates on safety information right what are the safety information if you are giving into this particular dose what was the side effect what was the adverse event whether it has been ratified or not what is the update whether they have changed or not those things consent form consent form means the person who is participating into the clinical trial they should feel the consent form that i am uh, it is in my knowledge that i am i am going to be the part of this particular study if anything goes wrong i will be only the responsible something like that whenever you are going to uh, for any surgery uh, your family members or your uh, uh, very close uh, relation uh, they are going to sign that if anything goes wrong you will be the responsible and it is there in your knowledge like that okay protocol deviation yes whatever the protocol you have proposed before clinical trial if any deviation it is there whether you are following it or not what you have proposed that also they will look after critically they will review number of participant enrolled that should also not variation in between if something happened 
it should be in the knowledge of this particular team or board right function what they do is like oh, these are the role but how they do these right so the for uh, they follow the written standard operating procedure sop uh, written uh, operating procedure they are not going to apply their own this thing right they will apply but uh, uh, through the procedure right what has been written how they, within the protocol they have to work right then organize meetings because these five members they have to frequently meet with the majority of irb institutional review board members right only two member cannot be uh, uh, uh cannot organize the uh, meeting right they five means maximum five is supposed to be there if four means it's okay with valid reason okay find risk to study participants they are going to find any risk with the participant they are not they should not be having any life threatening event during the clinical trial because you are using the new chemical entity onto them right they are human being they are not animal right so those things uh, if, if, if it is there we have to or they have to minimize that how to minimize how to change the dose and the other protocol with the proper then they will look after the recruitment of the participant those who are because uh, it should be they should be diseased one they should be proper aged uh, so that we will get the better result like uh, during the preclinical trial we are seeing the, uh, the animals no healthy animals wister albino in this way also human should be also proper diseased so that we can assess the result right so basically in these three points you can understand the what institutional review board is who they are what they are and how they do okay so who means five members represent different profession and genders that's what i told you genders also male female those should those should be uh, uh, equal or uh, equal it is not possible because it is five so three to in the, that ratio they can have what what they do they review the studies clinical study protect the participants if they are uh, facing any uh, side effect adverse event and uh, ma uh, the monitor the safety but first of first of all in phase one phase one itself it is designed for safety profile we are going to look after the safety or any side effect it is showing or not then how they do they they conduct the meetings and analyze uh, do the analysis of risk versus benefit right how much risk they are going to take uh, the particular research team of research company they are going to take and with that uh, they are going to get the benefit or not it's it's not that the uh, the particular person or participant they have given the consent form so uh, you will give the any of the chemical entity with the any dose they may die they may no it has to be go in the proper protocol we need to understand that molecule the particular drug what it is already we have studied in preclinical with the animal body but now it is the with the human volunteer so even though we have predicted in animal uh, model we have to be very cautious during this period thank you